Namaste! Welcome to Bring Nona Back! I'm Lara and this is a brand new cookery channel. Oh no, not another one! Are you saying that? All the horses! This is a cookery show with a difference. Not only we're going to be making some beautiful Italian dishes, but we're also going to be learning some Italian. Italiano! I want to share with you stories of food, recipes and secrets of a passionate Italian family. It all started with my grandmother back in Sardinia. Not many people know, but Sardinia is a beautiful island in the Mediterranean with breathtaking beaches and deep blue sea. It also holds the records of one of the blue zones with the longest living people in the world. Some of these people are part of my family. A balanced diet, a family life and a regular exercise are at the base of my lifestyle and my dishes come from what I've learned from the valuable lessons passed down from generation to generation. So today we are making a dish inspired to my summer since and it's called holiday pasta, pasta vacanza. The ingredients are basso, basilico, tomatoes, Pomodori, garlic, aglio, olive oil, olio d'oliva, passata, salt, sale. And the first thing we're going to be doing is chopping up some garlic. We go to garlic cloves, aglio. And once we peel the garlic, we're going to have to take out the anima, the core of the garlic. And this is today's secret. Let's have a look. So what you do, you cut this in half, like this, and see this part here, like that, you take this out. And the reason why we do this, is going to make the garlic a little bit easier to digest. We are going to grab some basil from my window here and uh, I always keep my herbs uh, fresh, it's important to. So I've got like a handful of uh, basil here, basilico in Italian. Basilico? Basilico. Let's say we want to make sure we pronounce those uh, vowels, basilico. Basilico. Like this. Trying to keep it all together, like this. And then as finely as you can. So this is all nicely chopped. Basilico e aglio. Now we are moving in to get some water to the boil and it's very important for you to get a very deep pan like this and fill it up with over a litre of water. Just like this. Okay, pretty much quite a lot of water and we are going to put it on the heat the highest we can get to make sure you got the lid on and then we're going to wait for the water to boil in the meantime we are going to start getting the sauce ready so olive oil olio d'oliva to measure olive oil i always use a tablespoon so make sure that you can count, so we can count in Italian, we say uno, uno, due, due, tre, tre, quattro, quattro, cinque, cinque, sei, sei, bravissimo, so six tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin, by the way, let's put this over here, let's uh, put a, a saucepan on the heat, it's going to have to be a medium heat possible and this is something that a lot of people sometimes get wrong because we are putting the pan on the heat with the olive oil and we are adding straight away the garlic and the basil together get yourself a wooden spoon and make sure we know burning the olive oil. This is important because as you are burning the olive oil, you're burning the garlic and the basil and it's not going to work. So you can give it a little stir and then when you can see the oil starting simmering, 
Then we're going to be adding the pomodori, the tomatoes. So get your tomatoes ready from here. And make sure we are ready to put it in. So can you see this simmering like that? Oh yeah. Perfect. Now as it's simmering, you can rush the releasing of the smelling of the garlic and the basil and we are adding the tomato straight in. Give it a little stir. Get your passata ready. So the passata is going to give you a nice color as well. So get some passata ready. Make sure we stir in it. And we add a little bit more of passata. It's about 100 grams roughly. And we stir it. Just for a few seconds or so. And then we're going to be adding a little bit of sale. 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 So you know what sale is? is salt. So make sure you have a good pinch. So like this. There you go just to add in straight into the sauce. Now, the water is actually boiling. Let's have a look. I'm gonna lift the lid up. Yes, it's bubbling, bubbling away. And now, as it's actually boiling, this is important, we are adding some sale. But it's a slightly different sale. It's a coarse salt. We're actually adding... So what is coarse sale? Sale grosso. Sale grosso. Sale grosso. Okay. Now, sale grosso is what we use in Italy for water when you actually boil and bring the, the water to the boil. So, I'm going to be adding the sale into the water as it's boiling, and as you can see, the water is even boiling even more and it's quicker. And it's time to put the pasta in. So, today we chose farfalle. So we're going to be making around 250 grams of farfalle and also did you know that farfalle actually means butterfly or bow tie in Italian. So we're going to put in the pasta in. We can follow the instructions in the packet which actually says between 10 and 12 minutes but I always always uh, advise to cook one minute less than it says in the packet. So we're going to be checking. Well, why would that be? Because we need to make sure that the actual pasta cooks al dente. Al dente. Al dente. It's important. We don't want to overcook pasta. Never overcook your pasta in full in Italian, okay? So al dente because it has to be just right to the bite. And also it's easier to digest. So that's important why. That's, that's why it's quite important to have the pasta cooked al dente. So we are around nine minutes and then we are going to add the pasta into the sauce. Okay, now nine minutes has passed. So what I'll just give it another stir and I'm just gonna pick one farfalla to see if it's al dente. And this is what I do all the time. I'm just Break it in half, and you can tell by cutting it with a fork that it's actually right. Mmm, pronta, al dente. Now, pronta means ready, okay? So, you can turn the heat of the pasta off. Get yourself a colander, like this. And literally, we are draining the pasta, and we are placing it straight into the sauce. Just like this. If you need to we always add in the pasta into the sauce. We don't do the opposite. Okay? Like that. And then we're gonna be stirring it just like this. Così. Ecco qua. Pronto. We're going to add some parmigiano. It has to be fresh parmigiano, okay? We always, always buy a piece of parmigiano, okay? Never buy the one is already grated, okay? Parmigiano is done. Give it a little stir. Mmm, buon profumo. Grande, 
so we'd have to try some. Yes, please. It looks very nice. So Thank is, you. Uh, here for you. Thank you. Tarita, which is for you. And questo per me. This is for me. So this is il momento della verità, which is a moment of truth. Can you say that slowly for me? Il momento. Il momento. Della. Della. Verità. Verità. Il momento della verità. Mm. Very nice. In Italiano. Mm. Buono. Non ti sai in Italia. Buono. Buono. Bravissimo. Buono. Bravissimo. So, thank you so much. Grazie. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And we'll see you next time. Ci vediamo la prossima volta. Mm.